I look busted yet again, but you here, but you here, so tell a friend. Busted yet again, but you here, but you here, so tell a friend. Hi guys, welcome back to Living in Thailand. I know I haven't posted in a long time. We do this all the time and it's, a lot has been going on in my life. So I wanted to come on though to show you guys one that I cut my hair. Um, I kinda cut it into a shape, kinda. I cut it while it was stretched. I did not film that because I did not know what I was doing and it was a very kind of impulse decision. I tweeted that um, I was gonna cut my hair like tomorrow and then like 30 minutes later I was like it's it's done like I cut it today I just couldn't take it anymore um, I did this braid out well I try to do a braid out like a really nice braid out for the 4th of July and ew, it just did not look right my hair looked thin it just did not look right it looked thin it was like it just didn't look how I wanted my hair to look and I think it's because the way that my hair grew out when I got straightened and sh the stylist trimmed my hair I love the straight look but she trimmed it and she didn't cut it all evenly so I had like the back of my hair was long and then sh I had like long layers for like the middle so it was growing it was just it just didn't look right for twist outs and stuff like that so i tried to i did it myself i tried to give it more of a shape so when i do do my twist outs and stuff like that it just looks so much better so i like it it definitely is shorter i feel like i feel like the old tire though and i also wanted to show you guys my impression of this myel organic um Hawaiian ginger moisturizing overnight conditioner um I if you saw my last video of what I've been buying during what I've been buying what I've been buying during quarantine you saw that I talked about this um product and I haven't used it so I thought I'll just come on and show you guys how it is yeah we're gonna get started my hair I can't believe it I've been wanting to like put a shape in my hair for a while so I'm just glad that I finally did it and I keep scratches in my shower um and yeah I'm just so freaking happy that I finally did it because I feel so much better I feel so much better about my hair y'all do not understand seeing a picture of yourself in a horrible twist out braid out I was just like, what's going on, girl? Like, how you gonna talk about hair and your hair look, my hair looks so stupid. It's, it's shorter, I don't think it's a huge, huge difference. Maybe it is, it looks shorter to me, but it doesn't, I don't feel like I'm bald headed again. So, I'm so bad, I don't know how to really review stuff, but the consistency, let me go back. The consistency is thick, like it is pretty thick. Um, I like thick conditioners, especially for a deep conditioner, because I like my hair to soak it in. It smells good, you can smell the ginger for sure. It's not too strong though, but you can smell it. And my curls are clumping, which I always feel like if my curls clump with the deep conditioner it's a good good sign yeah my, i think my hair likes this stuff it feels i think it likes it better than what i the other one that i use it's it's just easier to run my hands through my hair i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah so i'm gonna put this in and I'm gonna come back and let you know my thoughts, I guess. Oh. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm back at it again with the bantu knots. 
So, I'm just spraying water because my hair got a little dry. Um, I took a gander at the the, t the tube here, the tub here of the overnight conditioner just to make sure like yeah it says overnight yeah i can use it um i can sleep in it all that good stuff we're go there yes yes we can do that however it says that you're supposed to rinse this out prior to shampooing i'm i've already washed my hair i'm not washing it again like prior means before and i'm supposed to rinse this out before i shampoo no so i'm letting you girls guys know that i am using this as a deep conditioner and i will rinse this out and go about my day with the leave-in i'm not washing my hair with shampoo again after this i don't understand that um I don't know if it's a misprint. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm not doing it. Um, so, yeah, but a little review about the application. Pretty good. I think this is a better conditioner than, like, I like it better as far as application than the rosemary one because it's just a little bit easier to get it onto my hair. So that's a win. The smell is subtle. It definitely, the ginger is there, but it's not trying to steal this show. It's it's good. Um, it smells like ginger though. So please know that it smells like ginger. So if you don't like ginger, you probably won't like it. But overall, yeah. I, other than me using this prior to shampooing, I think that it's it's a good little conditioner so far. Like I said, I make sure I put it on my edges and I apply this like I apply perm, honey. Push it back. You want those and edges and the hairline to be moisturized too. Got to. All right, so I look crazy, but I am going to sleep in this. Um, and like I said, I will sleep in it for a whole 24 hours because I have to work in the morning and I'm not doing anything to my hair tomorrow while I have to work. Um, but I'll definitely come back on and show you guys what it looks like once it's rinsed out. And then I'll give my thoughts on the leave-in conditioner too. Um, which, if it's anything like this, I think I'm going to like it. All right, hop out the shower, turn my camera on. My hair feeling good, say what's up, what's up, what's up, yeah. Deep conditioner, um. Yeah, I left that in and my hair just feels really good. Like, it feels so good. Like, it looks good and it feels good. So we're about to go. <laughs> We're about to go on to the deep conditioning, not deep conditioning, leave-in conditioning. So I've already pre-pooed, shampooed, and deep conditioned my hair. And now I'm going to go in with this, which is their Hawaiian um, Ginger Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. Um, if I'm judging by the conditioner I just used, this, I'm expecting some good things because my hair feels really, really good. I'm back. I was going to try to part these cleaner, but I'm like, I'm tired. I'm like ready to finish this because I got a whole lot of other stuff to do. Um, so I'm just going to put my hair back into kind of the, the parts that I had before. But like I said, I'll be using this. So, uh-oh, let me open it. Okay, so the consistency, my hand's so long. So the consistency is pretty thick too. That's probably too much. Oh, I like it. 
and I'm just going straight onto the section. Um, this has a more faint smell of the ginger, which I'm not mad at. Cause that's what I was a little nervous about. Cause if this really smells like the ginger, <laughs> my hair gonna smell. Smell like a little smoothie. All right, so I am gonna take my Felicia Leatherwood brush, this, and start from the ends and slowly work my way up. And my hair was pretty detangled, so that's good. And I'm just going to braid it up. So I am just going to basically do this to my entire head. Um, I'm not putting anything else on it besides the leave-in conditioner. And I am putting braids on my hair to act as a form of stretching my hair. So my hair can then be able to be styled. So literally wash day takes it should be wash days because it takes a while i like my hair to be a little stretched before i actually um do something to my hair and braids is the best method that i do that i have been doing to stretch my hair done my hair is washed deep conditioned the whole nine um so i have 14 braids in my hair so like i said i am basically going to walk around the house like this finish some stuff that i need to do around the house um and let this dry the goal is that tomorrow i take these out and try to do some type of style to them i don't know what style i'm gonna do but that's the goal is to use this as a stretching technique and a drying technique um, without putting heat on my hair instead of like blow drying my hair just doing the braids letting it stretch out um and figuring out what i'm gonna do to it so it'll be easier to do my hair when it's stretched um and i'll get less tangled so some final thoughts on the two products that i use uh, which is the Hawaiian ginger moisturizing um, the Hawaiian ginger moisturizing overnight conditioner this is good I liked it when my hair when I rinsed out my hair um, from using this it felt good it felt soft it felt like all the good things that a deep conditioner should be so I really really like this one um, it says on this that you're supposed to rinse it out prior to shampooing. So I don't know if this is like a pre-poo mask, but I use this as a deep conditioner and my hair loved it. Moving on to the leave-in. Um, I really like this. Um, I liked how it applied on my hair. It's thick how I like leave-ins, but not too thick to where it's not pliable on my hair. So um, I really, really do. I like these two lines, these two products from this line. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna say they're a staple, I'm not gonna say none of that, but I like them. They were six bucks, so definitely worth trying for six dollars. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna let my hair dry and I'm gonna try to insert some pictures of what I did to my hair after this so you guys can see what my hair looks like after this because i know you guys are tired of seeing me like this I know. i'm tired of it too but this is how i've been looking all through quarantine um but anyways thank you guys so much for watching thanks so much for coming back to this trying to be consistent and consistent channel we are trying it's like every time i have the mind to do something life gets in the way so i'm just trying to figure out how to still be consistent even though life is getting in the way but thank you guys so much um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one